Welcome to Strip Cover Lid, I'm Adrian Fort. And I'm Dalton Gentry. And we're extra hot and sticky for you. It's always hot and sticky. It's summer in Missouri. Oh yeah. It's awful. And I don't have air conditioning on, so because how you like that? you're a monster. Yeah. Of and I hate you. Anyway, what are we talking about? Hot and sticky this week. I think it's important to talk about the role of the novel and the inner life of narrators or okay. speakers or characters in general. Okay. Um, this is actually something where, as opposed to NaNoWriMo, our novels may suffer a bit in this regard, only going 488 words per thrust as opposed to 1,600 because at some point this may become a little bit more surface level. So this inner life is what 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 the what the author is able to communicate in a novel that draws you into a character's life so completely, so wholly and so intimately that the novel is only able to do. And um, for example, short stories. If if you go by what Hemingway said, you're operating on the iceberg principle, right? Mm -hmm. What you see in the short story is just the tip of the iceberg that's sticking out of the water. Now, with the novel... You got the whole shebang. You got the whole shebang. And uh, you, you got to build strong characters. And yes. your strong characters also have to be complex, interesting, intriguing. Uh, you've got to make... Uh, there's so much you can do with characters. Uh, and what you don't do can be a great choice as well. Absolutely. The things that... Um, aren't mentioned, for example, in Brett Easton Ellis novels are things which uh, are assumed, right? This is, Brett Easton Ellis writes a true type of art, not a propaganda. Anything that you take from a Brett Easton Ellis novel is something that you brought in to the Brett Easton Ellis novel. Okay. So uh, this inner life of a protagonist, what's going on in the upper echelon of that character's world, right? The very tip of it. Um, is so much more than the tip of the iceberg. Okay. Because these are the things that make that character real and intimate. All right. Let's so do we, uh, let's do some examples. Yeah, of we've this. got some quotes. Uh, as we are trying to bring some good quotes, good examples, uh, I do have American Psycho, Brett Easton Ellis, uh, from page two zero one. I turn back to the booth. Behind us, a table of Euro trash hard bodies that suspiciously resemble Br Brazilian transvestites shriek in unison. Let's see. Saturday night, I'm going to a Mets movie on Sunday. The new life cycle we delivered on Monday. I stare at the three models for an agonizing amount of time, minutes, before saying anything, noticing that someone has ordered a plate of papaya slices and someone else a plate of asparagus. Though both remain untouched, Daisy carefully looks me over, then aims her mouth in my direction and blows smoke towards my head, exhaling and it floats over my hair, missing my eyes, which are protected anyway by the Oliver Peoples non-prescription redwood framed glasses I've been wearing most of the night. Another one, Libby, the bimbo with jet lag, is trying to figure out how to unfold her napkin. My frustration level is surprisingly low because things could be worse. After all, these could be English girls. We could be drinking tea. So, I say, clapping my hands together, trying to seem alert, is it hot out today? No? My, what was the, the smaller quote in there? My level of uh, frustration is surprisingly low. My level of frustration is surprisingly low because things could be worse. After all, these could be English girls. We could be drinking tea. Amy? Yeah. Uh, but that is something that gets you incredibly close it does. to it, Patrick Bateman. And it gets you into his mindset almost, yes. which is very difficult to capture. Constantly assessing how frustrated he is. Yes. Am I angry right now? Hmm. Surprisingly not. Right? Fair enough. And what that tells you about the character. Here we go. In Animal Farm, we have this about Benjamin. Benjamin was the oldest animal on the farm and the worst tempered. He seldom talked, and when he did, it was usually to make some cynical remark. For instance, he would say that God had given him a tail to keep the flies off, but he would, he would sooner have no tail and no flies. Adrian Ford. This is something that gets you incredibly <laughs> close to Benjamin, though, right? It does, it does. It tells you exactly what you need to know about that character in a very small moment, but it's very close to Benjamin. It is necessary. Uh, and now looking deeper into a character, uh, what is not only them, but what's going on within them, Carrie, Stephen King, 
The hairbrush slid to the edge of the bureau, slid out past the point where gravity should have toppled it, and then dangled as if on an invisible string. Carrie's eyes had, to cl had closed to slits. V veins pulsed in her temples. A doctor might be have been interested in her body. Uh, in what her body was doing at that instant. It made no rational sense. Respiration had fallen to 16 breaths per minute, but blood pressure up to 190 over 100. Heartbeat up to 140, higher than astronauts under the heavy G load of liftoff. Temperature down to 94.3 degrees. Her body was burning energy that seemed to be coming from nowhere and seemed to be going nowhere. An elect... An electron... Cephalogram? Yeah, what you said. Uh, would have shown alpha waves that were longer that were no longer waves at all, but great jagged spikes. What's in what's within a character? What's right. going on? The inner workings of it's something that you would not know simply from looking. Correct. Right? Correct. Your move uh, from the death of Ivan Ilyich. But if that's so, he said to himself, and I am quitting this life with the consciousness that I have ruined everything that was given to me, and it is impossible to rectify it. What then? He lay on his back and started going over his whole life in a totally new way. In the morning, when he saw the footman, then his wife, then his daughter, then the doctor, their every movement, their every word, confirmed the terrible truth revealed to him that night. In them he saw himself, all that he had lived by, and saw clearly that it was not right, that it was all terrible, vast deception, concealing both life and death, this consciousness increased his physical sufferings tenfold. He moaned and thrashed and tore at his clothes. It seemed to be choking and crushing him, and for that he hated them. Holding your own pain against other people is such a human emotion that simply from from getting from seeing that, you don't get the depth. Okay. Right? That is something very internal. Now, last week we talked quite a bit about imagery and painting pictures with your novel. You can utilize your character, your speaker, your narrator to do that, which will, in a sense, give some character traits as well. Yes. Uh, from Beef Tongue, Charles Bukowski. Beef Tongue, Beef Tongue. He held it out at an arm's length, right in my face. Beef Tongue, Beef Tongue. And it was. And I never imagined a seer's tongue was that fat and long. It was a rape. They had gone deep into the creature's throat and hacked it out. And here it was now. Beef tongue. And it was yellow and pink. And it was gagging all by itself. That is painting using the narrator. Yes. And that is a wonderful trait that you can use for your character. And it is so internal because what we're doing is we're seeing something. Yes. But through the keep, character's eyes. And we keep getting beef tongue, beef tongue, beef yes. tongue. That's all you see. Beef tongue. It's wonderful. But... From the outside, if it's just someone wagging a beef tongue, you don't get all the emotion in there. Yes. So that's something that Bukowski is very talented at getting in. Uh, this from Fight Club, page 85. We were running out of ideas, Tyler and me. Doing stuff to the food got, got to be boring, almost part of the job description. Then I hear one of the doctors, lawyers, whatever, say how hepati a hepatitis bug can live on stainless steel for six months. You have to wonder how long this bug can live on rum custard Charlotte Russe or... Salmon Timbal. I asked the doctor where, where could we get our hands on some of these hepatitis bugs, and he's drunk enough to laugh. Everything goes to the medical waste dump, he says, and he laughs. Everything. The medical waste dump sounds like hitting bottom. On, on ha one hand on the elevator control, I asked Tyler if he's ready. The scar on the back of my hand is swollen red and glossy as a pair of lips in the exact same shape of Tyler's kiss. One second, Tyler says. The tomato soup must be must be hot because the crooked thing Tyler tucks back into his pants is boiled pink as a jumbo prawn. You learn a lot about the character in that. Yeah. Learn a lot. You, you sure do. And it's a very, it, it, it's short. It is, it is. But it puts uh, you in that character's world. And that's very important to do. Uh, now, something we missed before we started. What, what is our word count, Adrian? The word count is 11,702. Which is impressive. Yes. And last week we partied like Plath, and now we're just trucking right along. Yes. This is great. Mm -hmm. uh, so make sure you're using your characters to create a world. Make sure your characters have depth. They're complex. And if they don't have one of these great traits, make sure that's a reason. Right. And, and Play and with things. I do not mean to really incite this or to influence anyone in this manner but one thing that helps me is a little bit of alcohol when you really get if you're not in that place 
a little bit of alcohol removes your inhibitions, you become able to cry with your characters, to yes. be able to think very hard with your characters, to be in that world and submersed with that character. You're trying to basically capture human nature. It's very difficult to do. And when you can relate to your characters and you can feel what your characters are feeling, that will come through. When we are able to forego the self in order that the character comes through, that is when these moments come out. That is when these moments flow onto the paper, through the keyboard, however you, you happen to be doing as typewriters, and uh, you're really in that world. Mm -hmm. So that's where being able to lose yourself comes into play. That's where you need to get. Yes. So if you like this kind of thing, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button and definitely keep going through on a uh, hashtag hot and sticky. If you have a favorite inner monologue or inner life or uh, real character moment from one of your favorite books or short stories or plays or poems, leave them below. We like to read things like that. Yes. It gets us through the day. Yes. Uh, make sure you're following us on Twitter at Strip Cover and using that hashtag, hashtag hot and sticky. We're on Facebook at Strip Cover Lit and Instagram what at Strip it? Cover Lit. Instagram, I said it right. First time all week. Where are we at? Strip Cover Lit. On what? Instagram. Okay. New to me.